Hello, my name is John Perez. I'm part of the EFDT team of summer 2019. Uh, my team consisted of Yayu Camacho, Sidan Jamides, myself, John Perez. Um, Damien wasn't with us for most of the semester. Our professor was Masood Sajidi. Um, so let me first give you a rundown of um, this portal because you will be using it a lot. The main page we're looking at right now, the section is Confluence. You can think of this um, as your documents page. Uh, here you will have uh, any kind of like documents you want to share with your specific team or with the overall team. Um, we can see it's divided by spaces. Uh, my current space is, of course, on the FDT team. Or you can see the previous spring team. And you will see as well my team, which follows. Um, the other ones you will be using is Jira. If we manage, connection is really slow, I'm sorry. Let's skip ahead. Um, Jira is where you will keep all your stories and you will be grooming your uh, sprints. So it's very important to be checking this weekly and to be tight with your uh, sprints to maintain the speed and, and have planned out what you're doing, where you're going. Them. I certainly had some trouble, especially at the beginning, adjusting to this. So make sure you, you learn how to use it and are using it often. Then a hip chat is basically just your chats. You should be checking in daily to communicate with your team, with the other teams, and with the professor. Bitbucket is everything to do with the uh, branching system and the repo. So you will be using a program called Source Tree to connect to uh, Bitbucket and the um, save code and create branches and so on and so forth. Now that we got this out of the way, just a quick review in case you hadn't um, seen it yet. Um, so now moving on to our page specifically um, in our project. Uh, the FDT team was tasked with creating a trading robot or expert advisor, commonly known as. And uh, the expert at this trading robot would do about three main things, two main things, which is help you visualize uh, information or relevant data. So, for example, indicators, um, support lines, stuff like that. It, it will help you visualize it in charts. And then additionally, it will make, and the most important uh, feature is that it makes trades for you automatically based on some logic. That's it. For this, um, this project we used MQL5, which is a, a language devel developed specifically for the MT5 uh, um, system. It's uh, based off of C++, so it's fairly simple to uh, get adjusted and it's all object oriented. The logic that I'm speaking of is based off of, uh, it's made by Gordon, um, Gordon B. I'm really uh, sorry, I can't remember his last name, but um, all his original documents, will you will be able to find them here. So his explanations with his videos, all the the specifically from him, straight from his mouth, you'll find it here. This is our own analysis of everything we did. Um, and you, you should note that there is two strategies that he talks about. We focused only on strategy one. This is based on the GBP USD currency uh, chart um, currency pair. Uh, the time frame is M15 and these are the indicators involved in his strategy and some of the support lines he calculates 
here we I go over an analyzing uh, how we analyze the algorithm, how we draw our own conclusions, how we started creating a way to recreate what he does programmatically. Um, there's an explanation of each indicator, uh, some examples of what the results could mean. The second part is a confirmation signal, so it uses indicators to create, um, to detect high probability, what he calls high probability, and then the confirmation signal is like, it gives it that stamp of approval that a trade should be made or not made. And these are some of the confirmation signals and how to calculate them. Again, um, everything, you can see the original. Um, this placeholder just leads us to this other documentation, which I'll make sure appears here as well. So how did we go about making this? Over here we go to the bottom. Um, this is uh, a very general view of how the expert advisor works. So you have a forex trader. He wants to do is enter the market and he uses our expert advisor to generate um, up, uh, trades automatically. So he can view the indicators and the support lines live made from the expert advisor. He can enter the market and he can make automatic trades. He can also adjust the parameters of these expert advisors to have different results. Um, so the state is very simple. Um, it's always idle and then uh, the clock is basically the on tick which happens um, depending on the chart you're using if it's M15 which is what we're using it happens every candle or it can happen every trade or every pip or whatever you, you'd like it so uh, basically when the combined signal and we will see what this combined signal is equals 100 then sell order if the signal this point is for sell order and if the combined signal is 100 for buy order then buy order and then we have uh, a timeout for and some stop loss and take profit parameters that allow us to close the order at specific times when it closes the order then it's idle again until the next uh, tick so we s separated the point of using MQL5 the main point was uh, it allowed us to make everything modular. So modular means it's more dynamic, it's uh, more reusable, it's easier to maintain, it's easier to understand, and it's uh, the biggest advantage is easy to modify. So how it works is the, is the expert advisor and then it's made up of different modules. These uh, modules is where the main work and the main logic goes into then these modules all return a signal to the expert advisor. So this expert advisor actually holds instances of each of these classes. Um, they merge together, um, not merge, but they stack on top of each other. So their return types are an average, and that average is what is determined if the signal is used as a trade or is just ignored. So we, if, and based off of Gordon's algorithm, we devised six different uh, separate modules. The Bollinger Bands, uh, for the Bollinger Bands indicator, for the MACD indicator, for the RSI indicator, for support and resistance lines, for Fibonacci uh, retracement lines, and a module that um, is checking for when to close, uh, every, uh, depending on a set period of time that has passed it, that has passed and if there's been profit or not. So how do these modules, um, so in the sequence diagram we can see how these modules interact. So obviously a forex broker initializes in the, the communication with the expert advisor and is on in it is going to construct all of these classes from these objects out of these classes. So these are um, classes that are included in the expert advisor and these classes are instantiated on in it. Then all these classes add, are added to a, a single signal. So there's a master signal 
and each of these are added as filters to the signal. So now they're combined. Then on tick, which is basically the clock, uh, it's what is going to um, be the event that you're going to be wanting to do stuff because it's the gap. It, 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 it is called every candle. So on tick, it's going to check the long and short inside of each of these. So long is buy, short is uh, sell. Um, when certain conditions are met in these functions, it returns uh, a value from 0 to 100, usually 0 or 100. And then the combination of these signals is returned. And if it's above a threshold, it will make the trade. If it's not, it won't. Um, it's fairly simple. The, the making it modular makes it simple to understand. Um, however, here I go in depth of the actual creation of this expert advisor of these modules. I mean, which is, I like I said, where m most of the, the work goes in. This is a very general uh, basic structure. It has to uh, include the expert signal and extend it. So they're all all these modules are of the type uh, of the class expert signal. Um, these is the long condition that are the main return or output um, methods. And as I said, return 100 to 0. Um, it can be it can be either 100 or 0, or it can be anywhere in between, depending on how your logic works. Um, here's an example. This is the master signal, and all these are stacked and given a weight which is the, the main feature that, like I said, gives it that uh, ability to recombine itself into anything. So you can give more weight, for example, to the uh, Bollinger Bands or to the support lines or whatever it is that, that you think should be done and testing should be done. Our testing revealed that the best um, solution usually was to give uh, importance to the support lines how the professor suggested since these are confirmation signals. Um, we made uh, our Bollinger very sensitive so that it could detect more and then we used uh, the other signals to confirm and avoid the false positives. Um, more information about uh, the logic can be found here as well as in our videos, especially those posted by Yair that go in depth in, in the code and the development. I hope this was useful and good luck.